You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self-protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature-rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. Hey everybody, welcome back to Suck Less Saturday. It's Neil and I have got kind of a special treat for you today. I've got one of my favorite people in the industry. This is a really cool lady. If you don't know her, you should. And so today's your opportunity to get to know my good friend, Shelly Hill. Thanks for coming, Shelly. Thanks for having me. All right. So, Excellent. So Shelly, tell us a little bit about your company, what you okay. do. Um, Shelly is married to one of my favorite instructors, and mm -hmm. she is also part of that team. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. Because these Excellent. are people, they've probably heard your name. From, yeah, right, know, people, right, right. Well, you guys may not know my husband, Brian Hill. And I am Shelly Hill, and we are from The Complete Combatant. And we have a training company and facility uh, in North Georgia. And uh, we've been up there in that area for about seven years now. Awesome, awesome. So the Complete Combatant, um, I've taken some classes mm -hmm. with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, it's really fun. Yep. Steph has, John has. Yep. I know a lot of people that have. I am I'm always tell people I'm comfortable uh, with um, You'd be somebody that I'd send my family to. Oh, train with. awesome! You guys yeah. are. There's, there's a, there's a few people yeah. that are. Yeah. Usually that's the people I invite on here because yeah. I'm like, hey, these are yeah. the people that I trust. So if I trust my family with yeah. them, I'd sure trust the people that are watching yeah. at home with yeah. this. But uh, what else do you guys teach? You've got the complete combat and you do some, some empty handed stuff? Absolutely. We do the live fire part of it and then we do the force on force type. But we also do what's in between, which would be maybe your proactive mindset and then moving into thinking about your verbal Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Commands and then go into your less than lethal, uh, which would be, of course, your, your pepper spray, that type of thing, and then move into obviously the firearms training. So it's a kind of a, uh, a journey that you're on. Yep. And then yep. after, even with the firearms, we like to also get into the uh, 911 call. Yeah. and how important the verbal skills are there, Yep. right? And then go a little bit okay. further after you've made that call. If it is something that you may need an attorney, wow, Yeah. maybe let's get some key points on talking to attorney. So it's kind of a whole process from the start of, uh-oh, I may be in trouble, to making all the decisions <laughs> and right. then getting to the end where you're home safely and yep. have uh, uh, hopefully, yeah, made the made the, the right decisions without yep. yeah too much of a financial or... Hopefully, yep. yeah, I hear you. Yeah. So, these anybody watching probably doesn't know this, but I took your complete combatant class two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I have where I live. It's a long drive to an airport, so it's typically drive for a day, spend a night in a mm -hmm. hotel, yeah. get on an airplane the next day, yeah. fly wherever, come home, same thing backwards. Yeah. And yeah. when I took your class, I learned something from Brian mm -hmm. um, and one of your coaches. Mm -hmm. Gaddy? Gaddy. Uh-huh, Gaddy. Uh, uh -huh. Hi, Gaddy. Uh, <laughs> he watches this, so yep. hi, Gaddy. So he's a big dude, kind of, you know, and then he's a black belt. So yeah. I'm a big, strong guy that yeah. I thought I could take somebody. Yeah. I, no, no, you can't. Jiu-jitsu, don't mess. No. Don't even play. If you're gonna, if you're gonna mess with those guys, you better be in the classes because <laughs> they know things. I don't. They know they can mess with gravity. They it's do. not even they fair. Do. They do. They're it's, ninjas. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> but anyway, so I had to, I had to, I had to wrestle with Getty, and I'm sure that he was like holding one, like one finger on me, just like, <laughs> who, what is this knucklehead doing? But at one point, um, I had Brian stop and go, hold on, Neil. This was this is the lesson. Do this. Reach your hand around. Turn your hip. That kind of stuff. Uh, um, and it was mm -hmm. it was a it was a moment for mm -hmm. me. And that's the moment that I'm like, oh, I get it. This is legit mm -hmm. stuff. This mm -hmm. isn't wizardry. This no. isn't magic. Mm -hmm. This is. Mm -hmm. and, and it was really cool. And I got home, got to my day job, and I had an event <sighs> I know in my story. day job. Yes, it's a good story. It's a good and, story. And literally Go. before I got to my own bed, I had I had spent a night in a hotel, mm -hmm. and then I just went to my day job, um, and I had an event with a man that was much larger than Getty. Mm -hmm. um, was a little unhinged, um, jumped me mm -hmm. in a in a place where uh, you know I I didn't have any of my tools with me because it was a secure facility. I right. was there for my work. Right. Uh, he was there because of things that he decisions he had made. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bad so we'll, decisions. We're Bad decisions. Leave it at that. Okay. But uh, as this dude, this giant man had me pinned up against a machine uh, in the corner, everything slowed down to like this fast and I heard Brian Hill's voice in my ear saying hey Neil remember this this lesson reach around grab the hip turn like this mm -hmm. and then I ran like gravity slow. I was mm -hmm. like Speedy Gonzalez out the door like that um, but 
without that, and I, you know what, I, I, I was going to take a beating, is mm -hmm. what was going to happen. Yeah. I was going to take a beating because the guy was yeah. way bigger, way outweighed yeah. me. There was no getting away yeah. at that point. Yeah. Um, and so it was cool. And at that moment, I called you from the parking you lot. You did. Remember? You I'm did. Like, I do remember. Oh, that. Shelly, you got to hear that. You know, I mean, <laughs> like, I got goosebumps. I know. It was freaking remember. me out. It was perfect timing. <laughs> so it was, I hadn't even slept Oh, it's the feedback. Yeah. Oh, it's the so feedback. So the stuff works. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, so no more of my stories because okay. my, my stories are always, oh, uh, you know, it's fun. It was, that was a great experience, that's a and that's story. why I wanted you here. Yeah. Um, and Brian will be in here yep. at some point with yep. us as well. Yep. But um, ta you have a lesson this week that I am really excited for folks to do. Because, um, you know, we do a lot of stuff with guns. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of dry fire, go to the range, do mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And we can suck less mm -hmm. at so many more things. That's right. Right? There's a ton of things that we can all suck less at, and you've got a good one. So yep. talk to me a little bit about this. Yep. Um, well, I'm also the founder of Image Based Decisional Drill. Drills. And you've helped me out with that also. So we've 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 had a, 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 a what a uh, what do you guys call it? A session? A video? Yeah, a we, spot? We, we, did a, we did a review. A on review. It. We, okay, there you go. Um, we gave one away in our dry yep. fire group. The yep. active so the ask dry fire challenge. That's we, it. We just gave one away. So That's if you it. missed it, you missed it. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. Well, maybe there'll um, be another one. Yeah, maybe in 2021. Chance. One of the tools in your toolbox that people forget about as possibly a first line of defense is your voice. So you. when you. we're teaching classes, mm -hmm. it is so much easier to tell people a technique to get to their pepper spray and thumb and how to use it and so on and so forth, right? It's easier for people to get to their gun, make the decision, go out, everything, right? You know what the hardest thing to teach people is? Mm, tell me. <laughs> to talk, to use your voice. And that, a lot of the times, is going to stop uh, anything from going any further, a nuisance, right? So, uh, somebody that's confused, use your voice and body language. Yeah. So you can practice in the mirror, guys. And what I'm looking for for this next week okay. is to use, let's say three, ask. So you're going to ask the person, hey, can you back up? You're, you're making me uncomfortable, okay. right? Just yeah. an ask, use your words. I can't tell you what it is. You're not me, I'm not you. Ask someone, right? See my hands? Hey, can you back up? You're making me uncomfortable. And they didn't listen. Well, you're going to tell them next. And once again, practice in the mirror, body language. You're going to say, you're making me uncomfortable or stop right now. Well, I just told them, didn't I? An alpha command. Yep. And if that doesn't work, then you need to escalate that to make. And make, when you get to that, means you need to have already started thinking about what you are going to do next and it could it be pepper spray could it be getting out of there could it be something else that needs to be a a, a little mm, you know yep, uh, sure. higher 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 decisions right yep. um so ask someone to please back up tell someone back up and make someone back up hey you need to back up those are the three things i want you to work on okay. and if you choose to use it with dry fire or dry practice, right? Blue gun or however you guys want to set that up that you yep. guys at home, um, please go to a, a low ready, something that you're not pointing, right? Right, right. because legal reasons and all, all that other kind of good stuff, which is not my wheelhouse, but it might be more of a, a low ready if you're going to do that and then go to your ask, your tell and your make, and then you can continue on okay. with what other uh, dry oh, okay. practice that you want to uh, to get to from a low ready that someone yeah. else has maybe helped you with to suck less. <laughs> I love. I really like it. So you know the thing is that we teach gun classes, right? And and the gun class a lot of times starts at okay the decision's been made. That's it's time, it. That dude needs to be shot. Now I need the skills to do it. Right. And so we we focus on that, and that's right. why we do the draws to first shot and, Absolutely. and or the Which draw I to low ready and back up and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you're starting before that. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, you know what? If I can avoid that, that's I can it. avoid that. That's I, and, it. and my goodness, I, I mean that is so amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, I I think about like the decision based drills yeah. and the cards as you yeah. flip them over. When I demoed this with a bunch of people, it was brand yeah. new, right? Yeah. I didn't, you and I barely he, talked. He got the first one, guys. <laughs> he got the first one. Not kidding. The very first one. Yep. 
Yeah. Serial number zero 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 it was. zero. Mm -hmm. Zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, so I took it to a group of folks that I trained with in Nebraska. We did it without really much mm -hmm. interest, in, you know, without much setup. Yeah. Um, and we did it of okay. Oh, we got to decide right now what the action is. Um, and then when you and I talked, you're like, "Well, did you use your words?" And I'm like, "Why would?" <laughs> oh. You're like, "Oh my gosh, there are words." Just opened, I mean, it just yeah. literally opened it up. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I should. We should have started there. That's it. We did not. At now is the That's time it. to go. You can start so, there. What is yeah. it? Chuck Aggard said the the poke in the eye, long yep. distance poke yeah, in the, the eye. Long poke, yeah. yeah, with yep. the OC spray. So if you can start there and not have to go to this, yep. what a wonderful gift you've wow. been given just by practicing the mirror and telling people, uh, -uh this yep. is my space and back up. So something I want you to think about: if you're going to stand in your bathroom yeah. at the mirror uh, and use and do this stuff. Don't draw your gun in the bathroom because no. that wall is not going to be a safe No, a blue, blue gun, <laughs> a blue finger gun, gun. <laughs> your finger gun, all of that stuff is great. All of that, if, yeah. If you have a mirror in your dry fire dojo, and that's something that, uh, you know what, it's not a bad idea. I didn't even There's think of that. There's a suck less coming that talks about that that I think is oh. going to be really interesting. Okay, well then. Uh, but yeah. if you've got a, dry, a mirror in your dry fire, then yeah, yeah, for sure, draw the gun, but read your own body language. The other thing yeah. you can do is go to your dry fire dojo, set your camera up so that it's looking at you, and do and this in your film camera. yourself doing yeah, it. That is that's awesome. Yep. Yeah, so, that's immediate feedback too. Yep. So, so this week, go wherever you can. Mm -hmm. and where If you're going to use your gun, do it in your mm -hmm. safe position. Yeah, or finger. Unload your gun, unload your gun, unload your gun, then check it and unload it three more times. Okay, that's the big thing. <laughs> uh, you know, what was really interesting is today, as we're recording this, uh, in our dry fire group, some guy uh, was... I'll say he was courageous, and he okay. posted a picture where he had a ND oh, into God, his refrigerator. Him. Oh, um, luckily everybody in his family's okay. But that stuff really happens. That is courageous. Um, that's, and that's... this is a guy that dry fires all the time. I, uh, you it know, just it happens. just, it, yeah. you know, people yeah. make mistakes. Yeah. That's why we follow all of the rules. Absolutely. And everything's redundant. And you know what? Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah. His, his and guys, you don't need once again. You don't. You don't need the dry practice with this. Right. This is about the decision. Exactly. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, because yeah, that's you whatever. That. So, then that's your call. I'm yep. saying. It's the verbal stuff that yep. is what I'm focusing on yeah, absolutely. or want you to focus on this week. It's the verbal commands. Mm -hmm. So think through that stuff. Enjoy your time. Have a good time. Use your words. We tell our kids mm -hmm. that all the time. Yeah. Right? Use your words. Use your words. Mm -hmm. This is your chance to use your words and suck less by next Saturday than you did today. So awesome. Thanks, Thank Shelly. you. Love you. Thank you for you having you. Yeah, you absolutely. Too. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye.